What up and hello, it's your girl Mena and in this video we are going to be just chit chatting, getting ready and trying out some new products. I shared on my IG stories a while ago that your girl is getting so much PR and I'm just so grateful because I remember the times where I was using the same stuff on rotation because I just didn't have it. And now, I mean, the packages are overflowing every week. I mean, every single week I'm just dumbfounded. I'm just so grateful and I praise God I'm excited so I have a lot of things that I'm gonna be trying out. Some, some that I bought and then some that have come in PR that I'm really grateful for. Much of it is NARS. I have never used NARS in my life, I know. Like I've been asked, oh, what's your shade in NARS? Lumin luminous, radiant, radiant, something, something. And I'm like, mm, never tried it. I just hadn't gotten around to it. MAC was my thing and I just hadn't gotten around to it. So I am very excited to try a NARS out. Ugh. The NARS, I have the, you know, the NARS palette that was sent to me, extreme effects, foundation, concealer, mascara, lip. You know, all the things. So very excited about that. If you are excited with me, I want you to give the video a thumbs up. And also very, very important that you are subscribed. I appreciate it. So I shaved my face today. If you've seen my IG, you know, then you've seen me shave my face. This wig is Amazon. I got a video on it as well on YouTube. So make sure you take a look at that if you have any interest in this unit. Let's put that back. This is a robe. I haven't gotten dressed yet. Yeah, maybe I won't get dressed. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Yo, the way the wig is, my ears are all like, <laughs> like a buffalo soldier, like a do dolphin. Elf lock on lip primer, you need this. And my face is looking very, very smooth and just like amazing. So if you don't shave your face and you have any interest, watch my video, okay? Do you shave your face? Comment and let me know. Why do I do it? What are the benefits? Watch my IGTV video. <laughs> if you can't already tell I me, mean, like look at the benefits, just awesomeness, amazingness. There's nothing else to say about it. Primer, ooh, I do have this new primer, Farsali, what is this? Skin Tune Blur. This is the primer that I never had. And I would always see people using it and it just looked so cool. They would drip it on their face like in such a very dramatic fashion that I'd be like, oh Lord, I want that primer, but I just didn't get it. I mean, come on, this stuff is expensive to buy every new and hot thing. So this is my second time using it. It does mattify the skin. I don't know if it's meant to mattify though, to create a blur effect on the skin. I mean, I did shave, so that does take me there. So I don't know if this is gonna have that much of an effect. So far, it's just really cool to use and really with any primer for me unless the primer is mattifying i'm really just using it just to use it it's not gonna do anything specifically this does feel good though and i say that because if you are taking care of your skin with your skincare and you are like for instance i just shaved so my skin automatically looks smooth so anything added to it will really just be added if you understood where i was trying to go with that you know <laughs> now the foundation i'm going to use is the nars soft matte soft matte complete foundation and this is the color namibia i've used this once already and it is a little red but i do have some foundations that come off red so it's not anything that is alarming to me this happens sometimes and we just keep moving i'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand all right it's a little runny but not in a bad way and it is matte you know i like a good matte look if you don't like matte this ain't gonna be for you, you know? I do have the next color up, but it's too dark. That's deep five, this is deep four. So I'm just making it work, you know? So we are looking red, but we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. I didn't go into my hairline because I'm gonna contour and there's no need to do all that. There's no need to really cake up the hairline. That's irritating. I wanna try out this new benefit. Well, I've, I've done it, I've worn it one time. It is very, very light, okay? So I'm gonna show you, okay, this benefit boiling. What does it say? Boy, boying cakeless concealer. Okay, this is the color number nine. It's way too light for me. So I'm gonna use one that I've already had that, that's not light enough. And this is pretty vulgar, un undercover shady lady number 65. So I'm gonna do this first and then I'm gonna put the Benefit Concealer on top. And that's what I do when I have two concealers that just ain't gonna work. I mix them and I do the darkest one first and then the lighter one on top, just a little bit, you'll see. I've just now contoured, my face is still looking a little red. So because of this, when I go to what would usually these days be bronzing my face, 
I'm going to actually just contour. So the powder that I'm gonna use is a face powder, but it's neutral based, it's not red. Bronzer has a red undertone for my skin, and a contour is just gonna be more gray. The contour, though, is a foundation. It's a stick foundation, and it's got a red undertone, okay? If you're confused, watch my makeup terminology video. <laughs> I'm going to use a powder contour, but it's a powder instead of a bronzer because I don't want to add any more red to this face. So just taking leftover product from the brush and putting it onto my nose. I'm gonna set my onto eyes. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Matte Setting Powder in the color tan. A little bit on the cap and I'm gonna use a brush because with this particular setting powder, it don't act right with a damp sponge. It acts right with a brush. I like it. It's just a matter of knowing how to use this stuff. If you have this powder, do you use a sponge to apply it or do you feel like patting it on with a brush? Brush works better for you. Oh, eyebrows. I did another video trying out the Fenty Beauty eyebrow situations. I'm gonna use the Brow MVP. This is ultra fi ultra fine brow pencil and styler in the color soft black. And then I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Sculpting Brow Wax. This is really cool. And on the tip of my brow, I'm going to use the Black is Black eyeliner from CoverGirl. This is the new way that I do my brows, okay? I like to make the, the ends darker, almost like a microblading shading situation. To clean up my brow, normally I'll use the same concealer that I use under my eye, but I wanna use the NARS concealer. This is the color Amand. I have used this when I first tried it out. I have used it under my eye and really in the same face areas that I normally highlight, but it's not light enough. You know, I like my highlights to be light. If you wanna use this on your face, the best way to do that, makeup artist tip, is to use your finger because it warms up from your blood in your body. And then you tap, tap, tap it all over the areas. It's not gonna smudge your foundation. It's gonna look so good. But obviously for the eyebrow. We ain't tapping, we're carving, hello. Oh yeah, this is a good color for under the brow, hello. And now I'm gonna set the brow bone because although this is matte, I don't wanna wait for this to like de-shine itself. I don't have time, I just wanna set that right now. And then for eyeshadow base, we already know that I gotta use an eyeshadow base. That's just a given. I don't do the cold concealer thing. It's not my thing at all in any sense of the word. So I'm gonna use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. You know, I worked at MAC and the Painterly Paint Paint pot was just what we used, so I'm hooked on it. I love to use Painterly because it's a beige pink color, which works really well with any color that I use. Okay, it's time for the eyeshadow. Look at this case though. This is so cute with the ridges. Like the packaging that it came in, I was so excited about it. I was like, oh yes, come on, matte black, hello. Got some beautiful colors up in here. I mean, the black shimmer, hi. We do have a crease-ish color. It's, a, it's the burnt orange red that I like but it's more on the mauve side. Do I wanna stick with these right here? I don't know. This color is obviously gonna go in my tear duct, like, hello. I don't know what, what look I'm doing today, but let me just start, okay? I'm gonna just start with this mauve looking one right here. All right, that blended out well, a little bit of fallout, but that's normal. That just is what happens these days. I usually like to put a reddish brown in the crease. I'm gonna just leave this where it is, but I really wanna put a reddish brown, but again, I'm gonna just leave it. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. Taking this light pink, which is right here. Ooh, it's nice. Always tap off the excess. The trick is to make sure you're looking down. No reason why you should be looking up. You're applying eyeshadow. Put your head down. <laughs> okay. Tap off the excess always. There are several looks that can be done with this palette. And take that mauve color again and deepen up the crease. And I'm going to bring it over to the corner here a bit too. That's wild. It's the same color. Here it looks more red and here it looks more like purple. I don't know. I want to use more color. Colors. I mean, I could use this black shimmer as an eyeliner. I mean, that's not really gonna pop. I'm not gonna use this as an eyeliner on the top. The assortment of eyeshadows in here is pretty unique. I mean, a lot of toppers, obviously we have the mattes in the top middle. Okay, I guess this look is done. I wanted it to give you more jazz. So I'm gonna line my eye on the top with this black color and bring all the colors down to the under eye and maybe I'll jazz up the waterline. Let's do that. Top eye is done. I powdered my face with the Sephora Micro Smooth Deep powder and got my lashes on. These are the ones from China. We already talked about this already. Link below to see the video and links to the lashes. Under the eye, I'm going to that same mauve color, right close to the eye. Oh, brush video on my, on my YouTube channel. Make sure you look at it. I'm trying to figure out what brushes to use for your makeup. We did a whole tutorial using brushes from Amazon. So make sure you watch that video. I'm gonna take the darker purple. I don't even know if you can see it. This is the color right up, the, right up top here at the right. I'm not sure that this will even show 
show, but let's see. Mm, only up close, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Now, obviously we need black. <laughs> So here goes the black. Now the black is confusing because it has a slight shimmer. It feels very creamy, so it would really go on well to do, let's say, a black smoky eye by using the finger. But I need to use a brush, obviously, to do what I'm about to do right now to make it look like a liner. Oh, those smudged out black liner situation. It's a little bit of a shimmer, but not really. When it goes on, it looks more matte. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm gonna use this LA Girl Ultimate Intense Day Auto Liner in the color Super Bright. Okay, it's not white. It's more of a, oh God, well, it looks white. <laughs> I've never done a hand swatch. <laughs> That's so annoying because if you look at it, it's not, okay, well, that doesn't help because my lights are very bright. Okay, so my teeth are white, praise God, and this is not white, right? Side by side, you see this is more beige. Anywho, we're gonna put this under the eye. <laughs> All right, here goes the stark under eye look. Helps you look awake and kind of creepy. <laughs> I used the red one of this. On the top eye, I used the NARS Climax Mascara. On the bottom, I'm gonna use Climax Extreme. I have to do my highlight first. I'm using the Kike Cosmetics Gleam Kit. I'll use this color right here called Lightning. This is a black owned brand. Take a look in case you are looking for a highlight palette. Okay, now I haven't done the contour yet, so let's do that. This is the powder I was telling you about. This is CoverGirl Matte Ambition, and the color is Deep Cool Four, right? So cool. It's not a red undertone powder, and here we go. Come on, contour. Deepen things up. Gotta bring this into the hairline. I'm gonna do blush and then put on this NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. I hope it works the way that I want it to work, right? Because there's working and then there's what I expect. I hope that it works like the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which is my by far favorite for the bottom lashes. I think this does rival Superhero. Whoa. I mean, you can't really see it well, can you? I don't know. I like it. The wand is humongous though. Like the wand is just freaking big <laughs> compared to the It Cosmetics Superhero Wand, which is a lot more narrow. Compared to the red one that I used on top, it does give a little more drama. This is Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the color Mocha, but this looks very red, like plum. This don't look like nobody's brown. A little, I guess. Let's line with this. Wow, this smells good. Oh, wow, this smells good. Oh, I want I want coffee now, either coffee or chocolate. Wow, this smells good. I can't get over how good this smells. Whoa. Let me wipe this off because these lippies do not come off, girl. These things be taken. <laughs> you need to like burn it off your lip. You gotta wear the super stay. Yo, they are super and they stay. And then I'm gonna take another super stay. Let's see, should I do hazelnut? Hazelnut is a little pink. It's not a little pink, it's pink. Okay. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh yes. Hello. This is looking gorgeous. And I literally did a look that looks just like this on IGTV. <laughs> Here we go. I don't use setting spray very often. Especially when I look at my face and it looks the way I want it to look, there's no need for a setting spray. I do have the Urban Decay All Nighter that I could, but I don't feel like I need to, so I'm not going to. Let's talk about the stuff. The mascaras, I do like. Are they phenomenal? <laughs> The red one is cool. The black one for the bottom lashes, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, if you're someone that likes to use mascara and not so much falsies, I use falsies on every makeup look. But if you don't do falsies, then try the Climax Extreme on the top lashes. You may feel like they're just like amazing and then you can use this on both top and bottom. I think you might like it. Now, the foundation is red, okay? We can't lie about that. I did zhuzh it and finagle a little bit with all like the, the normal stuff that I do, but the foundation is red and I normally stay away from my red foundations. I have them, I like them, but I don't wear them often. But I like the fact that this is matte. I do see a little bit of a shine, a healthy shine. It, the shine could be because of the Sephora Micro Smooth, but then again, even when I put it on, I still felt like, oh, okay. It was a little bit, like I don't look dead, okay? I look like a person. I'm sure if you really wanted to take down the shine, you could use a matte setting powder and it would just all go away. Now the concealer, I do love. Like, I just love how creamy it is. It dries fast, ain't no moving, ain't none of that stuff going on. So the concealer, I am gonna keep and I am gonna continue to use under my brow bone. When it comes to the eyeshadow palette, I wanna love it because it's NARS, Francois Nase, you know? It's, it's French, you see what I'm saying? So. Is it a favorite of mine? No. It's cute. I don't know what I would do with this color. It's just strange. And the fact that it's a shimmer is a problem for me. I mean, I wouldn't wear this on my whole eyelid. I don't like it. I mean, this gold is fine, but it's not like it's a loud gold. It's just like a brownish 
gold, grayish gold. This was okay for my inner eye highlight, but I've used face highlights on my inner eye that are brighter. Now, perhaps I could have wet my brush and then applied it, but I don't do that. I don't wet my brush to apply my inner eye highlight. I just don't. It just normally pops. And this one's okay, but it's not amazing. These mattes, cool mattes, but I've got mattes and other palettes that are also pretty cool. Aside from the packaging and the fact that it's NARS, it's not my favorite. I'm gonna spray some alcohol on this and give it away. Lippy, obviously I love. They smell so stinking good. I have a few of them here. Love them so much. So hello, hi, and love it, okay? I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Reposture my mind To know this connection is a blessing Disconnection